What's up guys? We just finished this Mercedes van interior. It's essentially a mobile uh, attorney office. I'll show you guys the front. We did do these uh, the upholstery job on, on these front seats. All leather. All this was handcrafted here in the shop. It's got a light gray double stitch or French seam, whatever you want to call it. We installed the plank floor from Home Depot. Our client brought it to us. This is our ultra bench sleeper. This has two armrests, two headrests, and three seat belts. It does turn into a bed. The dimensions for this seat in bed form is 54 inches by approximately 65 inches. And it does require about 30 inches right here of this distance for, for the backrest to go straight back. These are Chevy Tahoe seats. They are powered. That is the main desk chair. It is also a powered Chevy Silverado seat, or a Tahoe seat actually. They're, they're essentially the same type of seats, pretty much. We installed and secured this desk. We still have to install and secure and wire the uh, PC. We installed the monitor. We fabricated that wall in the back to match with the vinyl upholstery on the side walls. I'll come back around and show you the uh, battery monitors and on off switches and MPPT solar charge controllers which are in the rear storage compartment which is on the back of this this wall right here and I'll show you guys that right now but check out these seats all leather handcrafted they do have seat belts and they are powered we also mounted them on custom swivel bases so these seats can be facing in the back so they can have a meeting and talk about cases or what have you but you could also swivel these seats forward to face in the forward direction when whenever you're in motion or driving somewhere that seat as well let me show you the rear power compartment or the power center whatever you want to call it this is the power system we also did build these uh, shelves and storage area this is the MPPT solar charge controller by Ep Ever that's the main power disconnect MPPT is on I usually give it a few seconds so it can process all the data. This is the uh, solar panel disconnect. Boom, on. You should start seeing a green flashing light indicating that the solar panel input voltage is go ahead and coming in to the battery bank. This is the Renogy 3000 watt inverter. So the switches that I showed you on the inside of the cabin can turn on and off both of these. And let me just show you the battery bank. All this was custom fabricated. I did build this seat and the, uh, I'm sorry, I, I did build this box. This is 600 amp hours of uh, lithium batteries. That's four odd cables because uh, some of these currents and amperages range from 100 amps to 250 amps. I put in these little locks. They sell these for like cabinets or upper head cabinets. We did install this uh, nickel vinyl flooring. And uh, I want to show you guys the solar panels we installed. 
I gotta jump up here. So the solar panel array is uh, 1,050 watts with a 600 amp hour battery bank and shit. I just want to show you the battery monitors and the uh, on off switches over here real quick. It's a pretty cool feature, especially to have right there at your control sitting right here in the captain's chair. So that's the uh, battery monitor. Right now it's just measuring outputs. That's your on off for the Renogy 3000 watt. And that is the MPPT input. You can see on the left hand side the solar panels. Right now it's at 34.9 volts, 0.8 amps. That's what's going into the batteries. Yeah, overall, this is a pretty sweet build. All custom, all leather. Hope you guys like this build. If you guys have any questions or wanna want us to give you a quote, go ahead and just message me text me or email me. Have a great day guys.